Of all the hydroponic gardening systems in this greenhouse, the ebb and flow, aeroponic, and the deep water culture, the deep water culture is the most effective and the easiest to use. In this video, I will concentrate on building and maintaining a deep water bucket system like this one. Each bucket system comes with a multi-purpose tube that serves to indicate the nutrient level, to add more nutrients, to supply air via an air pump, or to use as a drain tube. As you can see, these systems can provide for rather large plants. The components for the system include a 5-gallon bucket, preferably dark to reduce algae growth, a 10-inch net pot, a multi-purpose tube assembly, and a pail handle to hold the tube upright. The tube assembly consists of a 1 half inch elbow, a 1 half inch rubber grommet, a custom made insert to adapt tube to the air pump, and a length of 1 half inch ID clear tubing. The only modification to the 5 gallon bucket is to make a hole for the half inch grommet. This can be done fairly easy, even with a drill in one hand and a camera in the other. I use a 1 quarter inch drill bit and a 13 16 inch hole saw. Take care when performing this task, especially when using the hole saw. They are very sharp. Insert the 1 half inch grommet. It will be very tight and may require a bit of lubricant. A bit of soapy water will do the trick. Same procedure for the half inch elbow. Apply lubrication, insert, then turn to the final position. Now we have a five gallon bucket that is ready for action. The five gallon reservoir creates an excellent environment to house plenty of nutrient solution to provide for a large root mass. This will enable the gardener to grow rather large plants and as many of them as they have bucket systems. To recap, we have a five gallon bucket fitted with a multi-purpose tube, a 10 inch net basket, a custom handmade adapter, a one quarter inch air pump hose, and last but not least, the air pump. At present, this system is growing the tomato plant along with these beautiful cherry tomatoes you see here. You can see the possibilities here. This sweet basil plant provides enough basil for my family and a couple of neighbors' families as well. An Arginora plant shares its healthy leaves for our organic salads. Also, generally speaking, you can operate as many buckets as you have air pump outlets. Nutrient management is very easy with this system. Merely pour a sufficient amount in a test cup and measure. I like to use the combination test pen to get an all at once reading. A pH of 6.3 is optimum and this is real close. A TDS of 500 to 1000 ppm is excellent for vegetative growth of basil and most other plants. So we just need to boost it up a tad here and we're good. Well, thanks for your attention. I hope you enjoy this great little system.